Thanks for coming to Brussels has stories indeed. Every week we feature the local creative in this lovely city. And it's an honor, especially for me as an Indonesian, to welcome another Indonesian. And also for our show, she's the first female founder that we could invite. And she comes here not alone, but with her husband. Welcome Titi Kusumandari and Francesco Zeni. Hello. Hi, Gama. Hello. Hi, everyone at home. Okay. <laughs> and your startup, guys, the name is Casa Rasa? Yeah, Casa Rasa. Casa Rasa. Mm -hmm. I guess. Casa Rasa. And it means uh, home of tempe? Yes, it means home of taste. Okay. Rasa is taste in Indonesia. <laughs> okay, and then Rasa is Indonesian word. Rasa is Indonesian word and Casa is home. Okay. In Italian. In Italian. As I'm Italian. Yeah. Oh, you're Italian. Um, I'm Indonesian? Yeah, I'm Indonesian. You're Indonesian. Okay. So the next question is, mm -hmm. by the way, how Brussels are you? That's a very nice question. Uh, we always consider ourselves as, as being Brussels mm -hmm. uh, because we are international, we are mixed, um, yeah. we are neither here nor there, but together we are something nice and we are something beautiful, I think. <laughs> just like Brussels. So, just like Brussels. <laughs> okay, exactly. nice. And talking about tempe, most of uh, friends at home, they don't know yet what is tempe. Could you explain? Well, tempe, I'm, I'm sure people already know about tofu. Mm -hmm. Tempe is it's a superior sister of, of, of tofu and, and why I say superior is because it's less processed mm -hmm. which means that the nutrition is, is better there. Yeah. It's it's a soya cake and you can eat it with it's fermented yeah. soya cake. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it with a sandwich, you can eat it in a salad and yeah. what is the best part of it, or oh, not the best, is that it comes from Indonesia. Yeah. I'm sure like, you eat it three times since a day. Since I was baby, I think. <laughs> yeah, since we were small, we eat it. And yeah, yeah. coming to Belgium, I would like to bring this uh, local beautiful knowledge yeah. to my new home. Nice, nice. And Francesco, could you explain to us what is the pain in the market that Casa Rasa solved through Tempe product? Yes, um, I would identify two pain in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, one is social cultural, yeah. and the other. Uh, it's health related. Yeah. So the first one, you know, um, maybe you had this same experience as many other people that probably are at home now, mm -hmm. uh, going out with friends and some people only eating halal, some other people uh, being vegan, some vegetarian, yeah. some um, adding other form of dietary restrictions. Gluten intolerant. Uh, and then, yeah. And then the healthy part, just being gluten intolerant uh, or simply being vegetarian and not finding a quality new ingredient to introduce into diet, mm -hmm. but tempe and our tempe brings all these people together because it's very inclusive, mm -hmm. anybody can eat it. Um, so that's a compromise for a all good compromise. Yes. Yeah, for, for all the problematic uh, problems around social, cultural and also uh, health issue. Yeah. Nice, nice. And about taste. I didn't taste tempe yet until last three weeks on your mm -hmm. workshop in Europali, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And I got surprised when I eat tempe again, mm -hmm. I experienced that a bit like cheese, is it? Uh, it is a possibility, there's a fermentation mm -hmm. process to it. Uh, yeah. Some people would um, describe it as being uh, mushroomy mm -hmm. and uh, being nutty. Yeah. Because it, it does, it has a fermentation process and it yeah. is, the base is soya beans. So, of course, those are the taste. And yeah. I would think also cheese might be maybe yeah. one of the <laughs> ways to define it. Okay. I'm sure one million people outside there, they are very curious. Mm -hmm. They want to taste your tempeh. But how could they get your tempeh, by the way? Well, uh, starting from next year, mm -hmm. we will have a green. A food truck, a green caravan that would be roaming around in Brussels. Mm -hmm. So if you see a green food truck, just chase us because that <laughs> would be us selling you tempeh or providing you, actually testing the tempeh to you. Um, if yeah. not, uh, you can come to our website as well. Mm -hmm. Or we do workshops, right? So yeah. we, if you have events or something, let us know. We can um, give you a full explanation about what is tempeh and how to process it. Yeah. Francesco, how could one million people there help Casa Rasa, home of Tempe, to grow? Well, just repeating a bit what Titi said, mm -hmm. follow us, we are on social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, on the yeah. website, and follow us in the street when you see us, mm -hmm. uh, book us for a private event with friends. We have yeah. 10 friends that have different background, different taste, yeah. uh, why not finding a new taste that could fit everybody, so follow us, contact us, and keep in touch. Excellent. So everybody at home, you could follow Casa Rasa at their 
website. So the website is Casarasa here, casarasa.eu. Mm -hmm. Or you can contact Titi and also Francesco at tempelove at casarasa.eu. And follow them also on social media. Yes. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Gamma. Thank you for inviting. Yeah. And dear friends, this is the edition of Brussels Head Stories for this week. We'll meet again next week. Keep being creative, collaborate, and make a business. Bye, all. Thank you. Hey. <laughs>